One of the most common home theater related questions that uh, I seem to get um, really, I think, represents the reality of many, or I would even dare say most, home theater systems in typical homes. And, and that is the, you know, the reality of the living spaces. Some of us are fortunate enough that we have a dedicated home theater room, and that's fantastic. But I think for many, many people, the, the home theater, the main TV, the multi-channel audio system, you know, is in a common room, a living room, or a rec room, or, or family room, or whatever you want to call it. And it does duty with other, uh, other things. And it's part of the household and everybody's using it. It's not a sequestered away little place in the basement. Although, like I said, many are lucky and fortunate enough to have such a setup. And so the question that I get is, I unfortunately, based on the room, have to have my couch or my chairs or my main listening seats right up against the, the back wall of the room. Should I even bother with, you know, a 7.1 system or Atmos or, you know, is 5.1 the best that I, I'm, I'm going to achieve? Is there any even point in those side surround channels if, you know, my chair is smacked up against the wall and I can't even have the main rear surrounds behind the listening position, which of course, you know, Dolby and others will tell us is the ideal setup. But, you know, the reality is, like I said, the ideal setup doesn't exist for many, many people. So to answer the question, you know, is, it, is there any point in going beyond 5.1 if your couch is right up against the wall? The answer is yes, uh, there are going to be benefits. You just have to be careful how you deal with the setup, what speakers you use for the rear surrounds, and how you place them. So my recommendation would be in a situation where, you know, the, the couch is right up against the wall and you need to put those rear surround round channels on the back wall itself is not to use a directional forward radiating speaker like this uh, Axiom M2. I would far rather that you use a more diffuse field or so-called diffuse field, uh, a less directional rear speaker if you have to mount it to the back wall and you don't have any distance between the listening position and the back wall. Bipoles, dipoles, Axiom has a QS series called the quad pole surround series. Um, those speakers tend to throw a sound field that doesn't localize as well. It's harder to pick out exactly where the, where the speaker is, unlike a more directional forward radiating speaker. And then the other thing is to get them up away from the listening position as much as possible. One foot from the ceiling, one foot from the sidewalls, get them as far out as you can, and you'll still have some good rear surround information. And then you can easily go ahead and put side surrounds slightly in front of the listening position, which is actually what I usually recommend. Don't have them right in the plane of where your seating area is, have them slightly forward. And the same thing also would go for Atmos. Atmos, if you're doing a 5.2, you know, you could have two down-firing sort of wedge speakers up near the ceiling or two in-ceiling speakers, again, forward of the listening position. And if you go on the Dolby Atmos site, they'll actually show you what the angle should be you know, between where the sitting position is and, and those Atmos channels are located. For your rear surrounds, what if you can't put them on the, that back wall that the couch is up against? You can put them on the side walls in line, which is what I just said not to do with the side surrounds, but the rear surrounds can be put on the side walls, pointing towards the listening position. Again, I prefer a more diffuse surround speaker, but it's fine to use a directional one in that application. Obviously, you could always use another pair of in-ceiling speakers, sort of, again, as close as you can within a foot or two of the sidewalls is perfect to give them some separation. All is not lost. If you're in one of those uh, room layouts and situations where your listening position has to be up against the wall, you can still get the benefits of either a 7.1 setup or an Atmos setup. Don't be frustrated. There are good workarounds. 
And if you ever have any questions about applying, you know, Axiom rear surround products or any of our products, please feel free to give us a call and we can go through your individual setup. I thank you as always for watching and please, if you have any comments that you'd like to add or any unique solutions to this problem that you've come up with and you know maybe even want to share a photo with us, that would be fantastic. Thank you.